Alzheimer's and other dementias affect not just the elderly themselves, but family members as well. An estimated 5 million Americans over 65 suffer from cognitive and memory problems, with those numbers expected to grow dramatically over the next two decades. Joining us to discuss these sobering medical statistics and what's being done to improve the lives of those patients and their families is Jennifer Sheets, Senior Vice President, Clinical Operations with Gentiva Health Services, one of the nation's largest home health care providers. Welcome, Jennifer. So great to have you. Thank you. Well, this is a big issue, you know, and most Americans have have some understanding of Alzheimer's and dementia, but can you really define those conditions for me and how they may be different? Most people use dementia and Alzheimer's disease interchangeably, and they're actually very different things. Dementia is really a group of symptoms that affect things like reasoning and memory and the ability to perform activities of daily life. Alzheimer's disease is the number one type of dementia, affecting about 60 to 70 percent of patients that suffer with the dementia. Most people don't realize that Alzheimer's or dementia is the sixth leading cause of death in people over the age of 65. I did not realize that. And I read that caring for someone with Alzheimer's or dementia can be extremely difficult for caregivers. Tell me about that. Well, if you think about it, the, the patient is not going to remember every time they forgot your name. They're not going to remember when they got agitated or they yelled at you. The caregivers remember every minute. They remember every detail of trying to care for their loved one as they're watching them slip away right in front of them. It's very difficult. One of the biggest things that caregivers struggle with is depression. Mm -hmm. And actually about 70% of caregivers end up with some signs and symptoms of clinical depression. Wow, that's sobering just to think about that. But so along with the stress that these caregivers have, dementia seems to add a layer of complexity also. Oh, absolutely. If you take just a patient with a congestive heart failure or a COPD and normal symptoms would be things like shortness of breath or edema and swelling and you layer in a dementia or a, a memory impairment and now you have things like increased risk of falls, mm. safety concerns, nutritional concerns because the patient may forget to eat or in later stages not be able to eat. Dementia and memory loss adds an entire level of complexity to any disease process. And you're associated with an organization that provides memory care in home and elsewhere, right? Absolutely, and I'm so proud to be a part of Gentiva Health Services. As one of the nation's largest providers of home health and hospice services, we're one of the first companies to invest on a national level in a memory care program. We did that because we see over 110,000 patients a day and we have seen the effects of Alzheimer's disease and dementia and that saw it as a true need that we felt like we could meet. For the caregivers struggling to care for a loved one with those memory losses, what are the resources out there that are available? Hospice care for one mm -hmm. in advanced stages. Um, it's important to realize that although your loved one may not be eligible for hospice initially, there are other resources out there. Gentiva also provides home health community care, and we have a bridge program that helps us to help you figure out what settings right at what time. And in your opinion, what differentiates Gentiva from, from other companies out there? Our clinicians, no doubt. Um, Gentiva invests in their clinicians. They invest in specialized training for memory care, how to respond to that person when they're hitting a crisis state or they're agitated. Resources for the caregiver, that's huge, that mm. sets Gentiva apart. So we give a caregiver guide to the families to say, here's some triggers, here's some things to do to redirect. Caring for someone with Alzheimer's or some type of dementia can seem so overwhelming. What good news do you have for caregivers? I think the main thing is that they're not alone. I've been through this personally, I've cared for a loved one with Alzheimer's disease. It can be overwhelming. There is real help out there when you need it. And although a loved one may not be appropriate for hospice just yet, Gentiva offers home health and community care, and we have a bridge program that helps us transition your loved one to the right setting at the right time. Is memory care covered by Medicare? Any hospice service is covered by Medicare, Medicaid, and most commercial insurers. And as a part of that benefit, medications that are related to the hospice diagnosis, as well as supplies and equipment, things like briefs and wheelchairs and oxygen, specialty beds, all of that's a part of it. The other important thing to remember is that even though memory loss or dementia or Alzheimer's disease might not be your primary diagnosis, any patient that needs those services is going to receive those without additional charge. Well, that is good news. How can interested viewers find Gentiva in their area? At our website, gentiva.com, there's a location finder and you can find the Gentiva closest to you. 
thanks for shedding light on this very, very important topic. It's so great to have you in the studio. Thank you for having me. And if you'd like to learn more about today's discussion, visit us at thebalancingact.com or share with us your Caring for Elders experiences. Simply log on to Facebook forward slash thebalancingactfans.